The Kiwanis Club is continuing in the tradition of Andre Butch Harper with this weekend's event, Smiles Across Pahrump. Smiles Across Pahrump is a program that was actually started by Butch Harper. Some people know him as Patches. Um, and it is an afternoon designed to bring families together to spend quality time together. So it's an event that's going to take place on April 9th um, at Ian Deutsch Memorial Park um, from 11 to 2 p.m. And we're going to have lots of games and there's going to be some food served. So we have partners this year. It's a Kiwanis program, but um, Rotary's coming coming out to do the food. We're very excited about that. And lions and the moose are coming out to help us with the games. So we're going to have a lot of really fun family-oriented games for everybody to play. This is going to be the first one after the passing of uh, Butch, right? Yes. Yeah, so um, Kiwanis did take over the program a few years back. Um, Butch knew he couldn't really keep going with it. Um, and so this is the first one after. And we do plan to um, honor Butch at the event. Wonderful. You're looking for sponsors? I am. So um, I'm trying to keep the event exactly the way Butch designed it. And um, he loved to just make the kids smile and give away lots of prizes. And so one of the parts of this event is that the kids have to write an essay on what a smile means to me. And when they turn in that essay, they get their um, name put in for a bike raffle. So we're looking for sponsors that can help us get the bikes so that we can have at least one bike for every grade kindergarten through 12 so that all of those um, grades are eligible for that raffle. Um, we also would like to purchase raffle prizes and um, just make sure that the event is really great, have um, supplies and lots of prizes for people to win. So um, anybody who's interested in sponsoring can definitely give me a call. My number is 775-910-3329. And Butch kind of tried to make sure that there was enough bikes for almost every kid that was there. So if you're an individual, you can just purchase a bike, right? You can. We did it a little different this year. So I have sponsorships. Um, I'm trying to do um, a bike sponsorship is $100, which puts your name or your logo on the bike. And the reason I did that is because we have bikes that range anywhere from like $58 to $130. And sometimes when we get bikes donated, we only get the lesser expensive bikes. And then that does not help us close the gap for the older kids. Um, and kids even as third and fourth grade, as old as that, um, they need bigger bikes. They can't do the little tiny ones. And so the $100 sponsorship helps even that out so that we can just go and purchase exactly what we need and we can get um, the exact sizes that we need. So it helps us a little bit more than um, people going and buying bikes. But certainly if someone wants to go pick one out, they can give me a call and we would be more than happy to accept it. Well, Tony Wambaker speaks to News 46 about her experience with Alzheimer's and dementia. Um, doing different things that they haven't done in the past, having strange behaviors or strange actions, repeating themselves, making banking errors, things that they wouldn't normally do um, that don't just happen once in a while, they're happening more and more often. And you're taking care of your mom who was diagnosed at a relatively young age with Alzheimer's. How is that working for you? Well, I'm doing what I what needs to be done as it needs to be done. She's um, now almost 73. She'll be 73 in May. Um, the first time I took her to the doctor, I believe she was 63 or 64. So we've been at this for a, almost a decade. And how long has she been living with you and your family, which is four children and a husband? Um, she moved in with us December 29th, 2010. So we're going on our sixth year here. Now, what do you do to take care of yourself as a full-time, 24-7 caregiver? Well, first and foremost, I ask for and get lots of help. Um, my situation is a little unique because I do have four school-aged children and a husband with a busy, busy career. And so um, right away after my mom moved in, I utilized her retirement funds to hire some private caregivers and really still so that I can still be a mom and, and a wife and make sure that I'm doing the things I need to do. Exercise is important, which I've been lacking lately. Um, eating healthy, you know, getting time out with friends and family still. 
um, not you know staying at home all the time because it can be depressing so yeah, I guess it can be thank you Tony it's thank you for sharing your important information we all know how difficult this is for you if your loved one is suffering have a loved one who's suffering from dementia or Alzheimer's the Alzheimer's support group meets the at 10 a.m. on the second and fourth Wednesday of each month they're there to help you Watch every Wednesday for health and safety tips for seniors. This is Tanya Brum reporting for KPVM News 46. Law enforcement agencies statewide will be citing distracted drivers April 1st through the 20th. The Nye County Sheriff's Office is working diligently to urge motorists to keep your eyes on the road and put away cell phones and other items that cause distractions. In an effort to reduce dis distracted drivers, agencies participating in joining forces will concentrate on enforcing distracted driving laws. The Nye County Sheriff's Office will have increased patrols during this time period looking for distracted drivers in an effort to keep Nye County roadways safer. Sanders Family Winery hosted the Kiwanis Club Comedy Night fundraiser this past Friday and Saturday night. We caught up with Reva, Reva Brunn to find out more. This is beautiful. We did a show last night, man. It was fantastic. I got here early. I was standing out front. Two people asked me to park their cars. <laughs> Uh, it's our semi-annual comedy show, and we're here at Sanders Winery. Who's the comedy troupe that's uh, doing this? The comedy machine. And the Qantas Club. And the Qantas Club. And so the comedy machine brings out these comics uh, from all over and just has an um, amazing night here. Yeah, the one comedian is from Las Vegas, and she's a female, and the other one is from Arizona. And then uh, this is a fundraiser, right? It is. Hopefully it'll go to our youth programs. You know, we raise a lot of money to give away to our youth here in the town, so this is it. And this uh, night is uh, two nights here at Sanders Family Winery on Kellogg Road. It's usually pretty sold out, isn't it? We sold out tonight. Last night we didn't sell out, but tonight, as you see, it's a sellout. So uh, if people want to donate to Qantas, they can do that all year long, right? They can, they can call one of us at any given time and we'll accept anything and everything. You know, we do it on our own property and we do yard sales periodically. So if you have furniture or clothes you want to get rid of, we can take that also. You can join the Qantas? If you want to join the Kiwanis, you can come by any Thursday night, and we're at the clubhouse at... Right uh, there behind the Best Western, right? I, I know where we are. I don't know the name of the place, though. Isn't that weird? I'm there every Thursday night. You go to the pool by, in the, by the trailer park, and that's where we are at 6.30 every Thursday night. And then, of course, uh, the Key Clubs kids are part of the Kiwanis Club. We have a couple of set, uh, youth groups. We have the Builders Club, which is the middle school, and, of course, mine, which is the Key Club. And then um, we used to have the Action Club. They disbanded for a while. So if you have a child who's disabled, give me a call, and we can start that up again. And then our Aquinas Club. And then what's coming up next for you guys? Smiles Across Pahrump in honor of Butch. We will be in the park. And that's Ian Deutsch Memorial Park. Yes, People can come on by. Yes, it is. And uh, if you have a student, just write an essay what a smile means to you. And chances are they can go home with a bike. For more information on the corners, can they give you a call? They can call me anytime, 727-0911. And if they need the key club, call that number. We're available next year, not this year. Director of the Miss Senior Nye County pageant, Scotty Winnegar, invites everyone to the upcoming event at the Pahrump Nugget. This is a meet and greet for our Miss Senior Nye County pageant. And we're going to have it at the Pahrump Nugget on April 16 at 3 o'clock. And um, uh, we've got all the contestants here. And uh, we've got five contestants and we're still looking for another couple of contestants, if we can have them, uh, just come and have fun. What's the requirements for contestants? Well, you, you have to be, uh, you, you can enter, what I'm told is we can almost have you enter at 59 as long as by the time the pageant in that year comes, you're 60. You know? And so you're looking for contestants, do they need any talents? Yes, they do. They, they do. They need um, uh, a little bit of a talent, or, and we can bring whatever talent inside them out. You can and, help them with that. Oh, you bet. You bet. And then what's the price to enter? What's the fees that yeah, you incur? It's, 
they're not fierce to enter our pageant, none at all. And uh, we're, uh, they're going to be, it's $15 a ticket. And out of that $15, $2 will be going to no to abuse. And that's for the pageant to get into the pageant, yeah. right? Yeah. So the general public can get tickets. Can they get them now? Yes. You can get them at the door. Or my number is 727-0309. And we can get them. They can call me in, and I can put them on hold for them. And the pageant also has all sorts of entertainment, right? Yes. Uh, we've got uh, quite a few buck steals going to be our entertainment. And um, uh, Desert Spurs from Las Vegas. Uh, and... Um, uh, Kat Ray is going to be our MC, and uh, uh, let me think who else. Linda Grover is going to do her ventriloquist. She's going to enter, you know, because that's that's a that's a nice thing for even if there are kids in the audience, you know. And we'll see the uh, 2016 Queen turn over her crown and see who's coming up uh, for 2016-2017. Uh, so they should contact you if they would like to be a contestant. And then also, if you want to buy tickets, give you a call right now. What's the date again for the pageant? It is at the Pahrump Nugget, 3 o'clock, April 16th. And your number is? 727-0309. All righty, folks. Well, after these messages, we're going to have your weather with Noel B. And so don't go anywhere.